Greetings, APW family. Finally, the big news is in, and 200,000 postal workers represented by the APW have a new union contract. Neutral arbitrator and interest arbitration panel chair Stephen Goldberg issued the binding decision on the terms of the new union contract between the American Postal Workers Union and the United States Postal Service. The new three-year contract includes career employee pay raises of 3.4% over the life of the contract, plus full cost of living allowances twice a year. It is estimated that a level six, step O, will see an increase of approximately $3,600 a year by the end of the contract. The wage increases in COLA are awarded retroactively. One of the union's main goals in this round of bargaining was to narrow the gap between the higher and lower career pay scales. We are extremely pleased to have secured the addition of two higher step increases in the lower pay scale of grades six through eight and one higher step increase in grade five. Each extra step is about 50 cents per hour increase or about $1,000 every year. PSEs who receive no COLA will see wage increases of about 6.4% over the life of the agreement plus an additional 40 cents per hour. And based on a one-time conversion to career, PSEs with over two and a half years of service in 125 work year offices will be converted to career, leading to approximately 4,000 conversions. The union prevailed in maintaining great job security for career employees. The no layoff clause is fully protected and employees cannot be excess more than 50 miles. The no layoff clause will apply to those who are on the rolls as of this award, but do not yet have six years of career service. We also succeeded in extending the ban on driver subcontracting and maintaining the all career maintenance workforce. Interest arbitration is a challenging and long process. No interest arbitration is ever totally in favor of one side or the other. As in recent years, management did gain a small one-time shift in health insurance premiums and a change in how custodial line H hours are calculated under certain conditions. But overall, we have achieved a solid and strong contract and also succeeded in stopping management's deeply concessionary demands to end no layoff protections, increase percentages of non-career employees, do away with our COLA, and create a new lower tier of career employees. The full arbitration award can be found on our website at apwu.org. All rights and benefits in the previous contract carry forward into the new one. These include seniority and bidding rights, protections against unjust discipline, the grievance procedure, annual and sick leave, holiday and overtime pay, health and safety protections, and so many of the important rights and benefits won over many decades of struggle. I want to take this opportunity to thank all of you, the members who are the very foundation of the union, all those who engage in our strong contract campaign, fighting today for a better tomorrow, all the officers, staff, witnesses, attorneys, and our industrial relations director, Van Zimmerman, for a job so well done. Union and management are meeting to determine the exact dates when the new pay rates will be reflected in the paychecks and the date that the retroactive checks will be issued. And we will share that information once it's available. And within a short period of time, the national APW will be printing and mailing an updated version of the new union contract to every member so you know and can protect and enforce your rights. Sisters and brothers, proud to be union.